One of the main reasons to buy a calculator is to evaluate numerical expressions. To do that, the calculator counts with two types of operations. Binary operations are operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or power to a given exponent. Those are operations that require two parameters, two input values to operate upon them. Unary operations, on the other hand, are operations that require only one input parameter, like square root, or sine, or cosine, or tangent, or inverse, or logarithm, or exponential. Those are unary operations. Let's see the behavior of the calculator stack when you ask for a binary operation like addition. In that case, assuming that the stack is already full with four numbers from the bottom to the top, 2A37, when you request the operation addition, the calculator combines the two numbers at the bottom of the stack, 8 and 2, into a single result. The result occupies the first level of the stack, and the rest of the stack drops down, as you see. That's the way any binary operation behaves. Unary operations, however, behave differently. When you request a unary operation like a logarithm, assuming that the stack has the numbers 2, 8, 3, and 7 as before, the logarithm operation replaces the operand at the very bottom of the stack, but the rest of the numbers on the stack remains unchanged. Instead of 2, the stack now has logarithm of 2. 0 0.3 at the bottom of the stack. And the numbers on the top levels of the stack are unaffected. That is the way unary operations are performed in your HP 49 and 50. Let's look now at how to evaluate an expression like this one. Let's enter those numbers on the stack. 3.2, enter, 4.7, enter, 2.1, enter, there is not an operation that you can perform yet with those three numbers, right? 8.3, enter. Now we can start operating. We can request a subtraction from the calculator, like so, and a multiplication with 4.7, and an addition with 3.2. We have evaluated the numerator of our expression, this one. Let's go now with the denominator, 2.5, 7.3, 1.5, and 0 0.7. 2.5, enter, 7.3, enter. We are ready for the first operation. We can add 2.5 and 7.3, addition. 1.5, enter, 0 0.7, enter. We can subtract those two numbers. We can multiply with the other previous result, and we can divide now the numerator by the denominator. That is the final result, negative 331. This is equal to negative 331. And that is the way to use RPM to evaluate an expression. Is this the only way I can calculate this? No, there are other two ways. Let's review the ones we have seen. 3.2, enter. I'm going to represent enter with this key. Enter. 4.7, enter. 2.1, enter. 8.3, subtract, multiply, and add. That provides the numerator. Next, 2.5, enter, 7.3, addition. Of course, I could ask for a division already, but I will not. 1.5, enter, 0 0.7, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and that is the result. An experienced operator of the RPN calculator would immediately say, hey, I can do this faster pressing fewer keys if I start working on this parenthesis first. 2.1, enter 8.3, let's see. 2.1, enter, 
8.3 subtract 4.7 multiply 3.2 add 3.2 add and the numerator is ready and then 2.5 enter 7.3 this is pretty much the same add divide immediately 1.5 enter 0 0.7 subtract and divide and we get the same resultant fewer keystroke there is another way of evaluating that expression I can type the expression with the equation writer like this equation writer in red up here on top of the apostrophe key click on equation writer and uh, you are ready to write 3.2 plus 4.7 that multiplies open parenthesis 2.1 minus 8.3 and then division is a well if I type division observe what's going to happen if I type divide the calculator thinks I want to divide only the last one 8.3 I say no no that's not it go back with this one go back so before saying divide highlight what you want to divide this one no more select more more than that this this the whole thing divide by and then I say open parenthesis 2.5 plus 7.3 and then I get out of those parentheses by highlighting I say highlight the whole thing and multiply times another parenthesis 1.5 minus 0 0.7 we are ready I type enter and the expressions used on the stack. Let's review 3.2 plus 4.7 that multiplies 2.1 minus 8.3 divided 2.5 plus 7.3 multiplies. Check it out. I made a mistake here. Instead of 1.5, I wrote 15. How do I change it? Well, I edit that this way. I click the down arrow, click and I keep clicking the down arrow yeah, until the cursor becomes transparent at that point I'm ready to change anything I move forward with the right arrow until I reach the offending value 15 no 1.5 and after that I type enter again and now we have the right expression but that is an expression I want to evaluate that well, the calculator has an evaluator key. This one, evaluate. You can also tell the calculator, give me the numerical value of that expression with this function in red. This time, I will use the evaluation function. Evaluate, bingo, the value of the expression is negative 331, same as before. You, you can undo it. Red, undo, and you have the expression again. Is that it? No, that's not it. We have a third way of evaluating expression. So the other one is between apostrophes, like this. Apostrophe, and then I type parentheses for the numerator 3.2 plus 4.7 that multiplies open parentheses 2.1 minus 8.3 and then I get out of there with the right key divide parentheses for the denominator and parentheses for the first factor in the denominator 2.5 plus 7.3 out of that one multiply and other parentheses 1.5 minus 0.7 that is the expression I type enter and the expression goes to the stack this one which looks exactly the same as the previous one thank you very much